Welcome back to another video. You guys watched my video a couple weeks ago where I showed you guys a tour of my garage. Today's video, I want to show you guys a tour of my main toolbox, <coughs> my tool chest, toolbox, and I'll show you guys what I keep inside, how I organize my stuff, and maybe if you guys have a toolbox yourself, you guys have any tips or anything that you guys are must have, let me know. This is my first garage, this is my first toolbox. So I'm still learning things. I'm still trying to find out, hey, where should I put the things at? What's the best way to make it more practical and use as much as I can without wasting space? So without further ado, check out my Husky toolbox. This one here is from Home Depot. Um, I forgot which model it was, but it's a nine drawers and I'll put a post, a picture of what it is, but I paid for, it was advertised for 550 and then I had them price match it online for 500. So I paid 500 out the door super worth it i was gonna get something smaller and i'm glad i did it right now this right here is the perfect size for me and i don't i don't feel like i'm gonna outgrow it anytime soon we just did a head gasket and we just did a full engine swap and all that fun stuff and this thing was amazing but again we might outgrow this toolbox in the future check it out so the toolbox sits in the corner of this area here i have my press that i kind of need to organize it but it sits in this little nice corner. It does have wheels so I can roll it around. So let's say I'm working outside of my garage and it's better for me to just roll it to the garage. I can roll it, but for now it's stationed. I don't feel like moving it. But this is a nine drawer system, uh, four doors, four doors, and then one main one. On the top, it's also really wood, um, but I'm kind of, you know, I, I like my toolbox. I don't want to get damaged. So what I do is I just put cardboard on top and it really helps. Look at all the dirt that's on there. So keep some Amazon boxes or some boxes or post office box and just lay them on top. You know, if you're going to work on something greasy, you don't want it to stain your wood and you don't want to hammer things. You don't want bolts and nuts banging on it. So just put some cheap cardboard when it gets too dirty, just trash it, put a new one on. Let's talk about my station here. I build a little cheap two by four. That kind of bolts up to the top storage of this shelf right here <coughs> and then <coughs> i pretty much just um plugged in all my chargers this is for my milwaukee ratchet the dewalt's and my cobalt at the end of this corner wall here there is a charger port i forgot how many charge ports on the toolbox but it also has charge ports <coughs> and also it has a usb so i have my lights plugged into it there is also an on and off switch so you can see and then I have this light here from Amazon. These are the same lights that I have on my garage. I made a video about that. They're super nice, super awesome. So that's the foundation of it. it sits in the corner, it has my charger and stuff. So back then, <clears throat> when I didn't have a toolbox garage, I used to just carry my craftsman tools and I usually had all my main tools in here and I just stored it in my Land Cruiser, which was super sketchy because, you know, if somebody ever breaks in, they can take all my tools. But now I don't do that. So that's what it, that's what it used to look like. I still have my Craftsman. I just leave it open and I use most of these guys here. All my typical sockets, my ratchet, I keep it right like that. This right here just has miscellaneous tools. I'm not going to show you guys everything. But, you know, just miscellaneous things. Um, if I ever need to pack my tools and go somewhere, I can throw them back into these boxes. Or I have these rigid boxes where I can throw my power tools back in them. And that's how I store them back then. Tapes, electrical stuff, masks. I usually have my PPE up here. And then just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. These little orange totes right here. They come with these rigets, and if you don't like to store these in here, you can take them out, and they're really useful for like organizing things, miscellaneous things, miscellaneous nuts and bolts, uh, miscellaneous. These are tools that I need like all the time, like the flathead, the knife, these wire cutters. <coughs> I need these so much that I prefer to just have them out. Same thing as permanent markers. These are what I use to write on like parts. Let's say I need to write on something's metal and say that, hey, this is from a 1994 truck. I, these are really nice. I get, you get these from AIH. They work really well. This right here is ATF um, automatic transmission fluid mixed with acetone. If you have some rusty bolts or whatever, just throw them in here let them sit for a couple days and it'll break all the rust out. So that's a little rust jar, I call it. Miscellaneous parts. On the side, I have some of the magnet tray. Uh, these guys here and then I also have my big magnet tray up here that I need to clear out Yeah, I need to clear these out. This, this just has miscellaneous metal. So now let's go inside. So the top drawers 
has all my main things that I use a lot. I have picks. This is a plumbing stuff. I don't know why I have that. My multimeter. I got some vacuum vacuum seals. Um, black eyes. I like using these. These are nice car scent. Spark plug gauge. Uh, more basic stuff for my drills and stuff like that. Just very things that I need right away. This is a 9mm ammo that I found in one of my vehicle when I bought it. Um, these are washers for the differential plugs. So it's nice to have these on hand, spears. All my vice grips, my pliers, these are really nice to have. This is for the this is for the plugs, the drills, all my basic stuff. My 10, 12, 14, these are all my things that I need all the time. So whenever I need to get things right away, I get them here. This is my 19 mil for removing my wheel lugs. These are all my impact uh, impact sockets. And these are all the basic ones, 14, 17, 19. I like to just keep them out because I know I'm going to use them. This right here is some pliers that I got from uh, Amazon. They're the C-clip pliers. More zip ties. Can never have enough zip tie. And these are some resistors over here. I forgot what resistors these are, but I think these are for... I don't know what they're for, but I bought it them on eBay. And um just a bunch of resistors. They're like they're 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 for doing like um EGR deletes and stuff like that. For the 3.0 and stuff. This is my ECU for my truck that I, we just did. This is the original ECU um that John did. Well oh, that that's for my truck. I went ahead and bought another one exactly like this off of eBay with $75 ship. And it's just nice to have those on hand for spear. But that's either. I'm going to wrap that up and put that in storage somewhere safer. And that's pretty much it for the top bay. We do have more room to put stuff in here. But eventually, <coughs> I'll decide what I want to put in here. Like, these guys are super use, are useful. So sometime, maybe I'll just leave this in here now. Yeah, those guys are nice. If you're removing your bell housing bolts, you got to have the 14 and the 17. They really help you out. This one here has all the other basic stuff. Like, this is probably my second most use. Has all my wrenches, extension, my breaker bar. It's crazy when you think about this, but like sometimes I wonder like how did I end up having so many wrenches? And girls and your wife, your, the lady won't probably under, ever understand you, but you just need them. Like you need backups. You need backups 12, you need 10 mils. You need a 12 mil that do ratchet. You need one that don't do ratchet. So all these are just things that I need. So that's all the basic stuff. Half inch uh, swivel. These guys are nice to have on hand. It's always nice to have more than one because sometimes they do break. These are for doing the heads already. Uh, these are the head bolts. Yeah, these are 12 points. The other thing I like about this toolbox, toolbox is that they have the tension. So you so you can't just, when you push the drawer back in, they just don't slam. See how they slow down? So that's really nice. If you go buy one, make sure you check that out. This right here is the second drawer. This is a specialty door. Uh, this has my timing light. The clutch tool that I just got from my kit. It's nice to have this. This is for the cam tension key. Let's say you need to reset your cam tensioner on the 3-4. You can you put that. And then this is like the grenade pin, they call it. So I got my timing gun, my solder. I got this guy here. This was um, this is when you do your... Let's say you need to torque down a bolt. And you need to do an extra 90 degrees or whatever degrees. This helps you out. These are for checking your valve, stem, um, your valve clearance and stuff like that. I'm not gonna explain each tool, but if you guys know, you guys know. So those are nice to have. Uh, my solder gun, and then this blue box is my uh, what's it called when you do, when you do your differential. It's for when you check your uh, your backlash. So this is what it is. These are all the 3.4 spare parts that I ordered, like the nuts, gasket, uh, ECT tin, uh, wire, some extra hoses. So I kind of threw them in here for now. And then the third box we have here is the specialty box. I don't really need this unless it's a specialty job. So this is like the axle nut. Um, this is the seal driver for my 80 series axles. Um, this is for my rear axle for the 80 series to tighten the nuts and stuff like that. My torque wrench. Um, I have my uh, press. Not the press, but the thing. Uh, bearing puller. I made a custom crank holder. Uh, clamps and stuff like that. So these are all just basic stuff. Calipers. Uh, the forks. And these are the tie rod pulleys from Amazon. And then I also have back over here the valve. This is for when you do the valve, um, valve jobs and stuff like that. So this one here has specialty stuff. And these are some of the more of my impact wrench, uh, impact sockets.
And then the last door down here is one of my most used. Obviously, you can see the photos. So this is where all my power tools are. When I first bought power tools, I started with Dewalt. So I had the impact uh, impact driver and the drill from Dewalt. This is the XR. These guys I had. These, they were a combo and I had them for over five plus year and they still run amazing They have been through so many abuse and I'll tell you guys man Dewalt they last a long time. The next thing I have is this Milwaukee. I bought this new uh, New on Facebook market for a hundred bucks. This is a must man. These things are so amazing. These are the ratchet uh, socket ratchet guns It really helps for like tight spots. Let's say you got a tight spot down here and then these cobalt here, I bought them all in use off Facebook market for a stellar deal. Um, I have the impact gun. This is the cobalt impact gun. They all have the 4 op 24 volt battery. This is the sawzall, and then that's the grinder. And then I have about three or four. I got about four batteries for these guys. So just a lot of it. This is a little bit of everything here. So that's what I have for power tools. This top door is also another pretty popular door but again this door here is more for like drill bits and stuff like that these are the jis um these are pretty important when you do stuff like that um torque bit sockets some l keys as you call it so a bunch of miscellaneous stuff markers knives um a lot of drill bits and stuff like that some phillips head in here as well Tape measure, how to remember that I put my tape measure in there. These are some of the uh, drill out tools and stuff like that. So mostly like drill bits and stuff in here. Don't use them too much, but when I do need them, they are in here. So these are screw extractor. So that's the first door on the left. And this is my favorite door. This is the candy door, I call it. Check that out. Whoa! So this is my spare parts door. So I'm not going to go through all my spare parts, but... This just has a lot of miscellaneous gaskets, axle seals for my 80 series. I like to have spare parts and I like to have OEM spare parts. There are some aftermarket, you no, know, this is from AutoZone. But these are all OEM axle seals, OEM studs. A lot of this is for my 80 series. Uh, wiper kits, look at that. This is the rear main seal, front main seals, <coughs> LED lights. A um, bunch of miscellaneous valve stems, valve covers, light bulbs. So a lot of this is just miscellaneous um, spare parts then. But it's very important. These are spare parts that you need for tune-up. And then this right here is the shifter bushings. I want to put this into my red truck. I want to replace the bushings. But so, but honestly, the bushing still feels really good on my red truck. I did replace the bushing <coughs> on the white full runner. And it really, it definitely improved it a lot. I will have to get a bigger box <coughs> for my spare parts because like I say, I, I want to have more than that. It'd be nice to have to have two doors that's of spare parts, but <coughs> we'll make it count right now. The third door is miscellaneous. This is more like a brass punch. This is for the oil uh, filter for the Corollas. <coughs> Some pry bars, uh, miscellaneous punches, stuff like that. This is what I use for the um, when you want when you want to clear the uh, when you want to clean the head off the head gasket, I found out what these are called. These are called the carbide blades and uh, oil filter wrench, uh, window tinting kit. I have to get a new kit because I'm gonna tint my red truck, but I want to. These are pretty old, so I want to get a new kit. They're cheap on off of Amazon. And then the last door we have here is uh, what's in here? Oh yeah, supplies, miscellaneous supplies and stuff like that. I got a fuel, uh, fuel filter I need to put on my truck, but honestly, I think it's fine. Um, this red box right here is, I got some heat tape. And then this box right here is like my uh, bearing race press. And then I also just bought a um, timing gear puller. I used this to pull the crank gear on the 3-4 when we did that. And then what's down here? I don't know what's down here. Oh, miscellaneous valve cover. These are valve cover. <coughs> um, these are valve cover gasket for the 80 series. Uh, miscellaneous. This is the fuse fuse box or fuses and um, fuses and relay and stuff like that. Extra parts in here. So this just has extra parts. This is the radiator, um, the the funnel accessory. I actually don't need these anymore, so I might trash them. But it's nice to have them just in case you work on different vehicles. And then down here just has syringes. <coughs> 
<laughs> these syringes are good to have for when, let's say, you need to suck out the brake fluid in the master cylinder or you need to suck out the clutch fluid or the power steering. So it's nice to have these a couple of these guys here, here and there. And these are all my grinding brushes. It's nice to have a bunch of these. These things are just nice to have extra cutting discs and stuff like that because you don't want to start a job and then all of a sudden you find out that oh well the blade is out i need a new, i need to have an extra one so whenever you're doing stuff and you see that you see that your supplies are low just grab some if you're ever at the store just grab some while you're there and then miscellaneous o-rings a bunch of miscellaneous supplies in here i really i do have to really organize these because um i feel like they're not gonna like for example this tool here should be long and needs to belong in here because this guy needs to be with the cooler so it's all about just organizing things and it's all about what makes sense when you work on your vehicle you'll know what makes sense oh you know your 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 pitman arm puller like these guys <coughs> these these two they go together along with the tie rod puller so just kind of put things where it makes sense actual service torque wrenches stuff like that so i did i do need to go through it again but it's not super important like this one doesn't belong in here it belongs over there but there's no more room so i just kind of threw it back in here and then these guys don't even belong in here but for now i'm just gonna throw them in there so that's pretty much it right there a overall view of what i have for my toolbox <coughs> it is a nice toolbox and like i said i feel like we might outgrow in the future if we do outgrow in the future, honestly, I, I might even buy another one just like that and just zip, put it right here. But we'll see what happens. I was I don't want to get a toolbox that's too high. I was going to get the one that's like, you know, your standard size that goes all the way up. And if I would have went with that, I would have had to put that at this corner here facing this way. And it would have been really weird because this is the only outlet power source. So that's kind of how it is. But I think this is fine. Like I said, if I ever do outgrow it, I'll just get another one and then we'll just stack it right here and boom, we'll have like a lot, a bigger desk, double with the capacity. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys got any tips, anything like that, let me know in the comments section and I'll catch you guys next time.